is known as the toughest man in the world, presenting Andrew the Brick Wall Alright, the full summary just came out a few moments ago, so I wanted to let you all know about that and make sure you check that out because it has way more details about everything that's going on right here and get some context to these pictures. But this art is crazy, guys. I have stated that Toyotaro's art is great and it keeps on getting better and better and better even if it was a little bit lackluster in the beginning. He has some continuity problems, some storytelling problems, but with this being said, like, this is getting freaking awesome, and this art is to die for right here. Make sure y'all check out my videos after this, like, about how he messed up the space saiyan, surviving in space, and all that stuff. Sell that issue once and for all. Before we get into the rest of these pictures, please subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, select the all features so you can see all my future content, and I'm on the first one to bring all out this breaking news the fastest. These pictures, by the way, Geekdom didn't reveal all of them. He just revealed the first look of Vegeta, but there are some more pictures with in this one some more manga scans so uh yeah smash the thumbs up like button share this around with everybody that you know leave a comment and let's go ahead and get into it we have granola uppercutting vegeta right in the gut and like granola is trying hard right here and vegeta's not down for the count but he's doing the telekinesis move we had the drafts for this particular move right here but now it's uh fully finished and it's looking great once again not usually seeing Vegeta do telekinesis, but it's interesting seeing what he's actually going to do with the exploding rocks and stuff. And we don't have the translation for this yet. Maybe we'll get it later, but, you know, the full summary does it justice right here. He's probably telling, you know, Granola that I have a new transformation and Granola backs away because that's the moment. Granola backs away because he feels the key and ore and power and disseminating from uh, Vegeta's body and he's throwing up blood and stuff like that but he still Granola still sees that he is a force to be reckoned with and here is Vegeta's new transformation guys oh my god looking cool seeing him with the Super Saiyan 3 no eyebrows design boy that looks freaking awesome seeing the dark hair and aura and the electricity and stuff like that and it, it seems to be kind of like a purple blackish kind of key aura with the Hakai so the Hakai energy around him oh I can't wait to see this in the anime guys Oh my god, this looks freaking cool right here. I am so hyped for this. I cannot wait for the full chapter to come out because I'll be the first one to break and give you all a breakdown and kind of narration of all the events. The key and the fire and flames are around him and looks awesome. He has that earring with the, you know, Hakai earring from Beerus. Looks freaking awesome right there. Uh, up close, looking like the Super Saiyan 3 guy. Man, I'm telling you, this guy looks awesome. Vegeta looks awesome. Vegeta fans are going to go apoplectic like I said before. Oh, and there's no limit to what I can't do. <laughs> and I love that. That's it. That's all the uh, spoilers that we have for now. Maybe more will come out later. But yeah, that's basically it. Let me know what y'all think about this. I'll be interacting with y'all in the comments. Can't wait to see what y'all have to say. Do all that subbing, liking, bell, and all. You know, sharing this around with everybody. You know, follow me on all my social media platforms too. Like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Links to that in the description and first comment. And thank you so much for listening to me rant. I can't wait to see what y'all have to say. Peace out, my friends. Y'all have a wonderful rest of the day. Check out the rest of my channel too.